opportunities are presented to us within the present moment. And we are only going to truly be able to see opportunities when we are more one with the present moment. Our life only happens in the present moment. Our experiences only happen within the present moment by spending more time in the now, by appreciating the now, by learning to make the now a priority, I truly believe that your life will drastically improve and you'll notice shifts instantly. When your mind is full of clutter and random thoughts and things that truly just like are not productive to you and your well-being, you are unconsciously limiting yourself and your ability to express yourself fully in what you do and what you love and just who you are. People associate certain events or things that they do in their life with a certain feeling or emotion. For example, take the runner's high. People associate the run and the activity that is running with the feeling of euphoria or delight behind that runner's high that you get. And of course, I'm sure there's science behind it like the endorphins etc that happen when you're out for a run that cause you to feel a certain way but it's not necessarily the run and the activity of running that provides that feeling of euphoria it's you being so immersed in the present moment and in whatever it is you're doing so in the run that allows you to experience that flow and you can apply this example to anything Let's say you were at a concert and you were just so in the moment, listening to the music, listening to your favorite artists, maybe you're around your best friends or your family or your loved ones, whatever it is, and you're just so immersed in the moment and you can think back to that concert that you went to and you were just so thrilled. Like You remember the emotions and the feelings and you feel it now, even if it happened years ago. Those feelings that you experience, the euphoria, again, the thrill of being at that concert, you may have associated it with the actual music or the concert itself. And again, maybe there is some connection there, but you were so in the moment, you weren't thinking about your schedule or what you had to do the day after or, or, or some regret, something that you said that you regret you said a week ago. Like you're just so immersed in the now that the aliveness and the enjoyment that is within you innately, like who you are innately shines through and you experience it as a byproduct through the activity. The activity is kind of like a medium for you to express what is innately within you, if that makes sense. You are pure love and joy and that is within you, that is innate within all of us being able to express ourselves and that will shine through when you experience things that enable you to be present and even when we experience things that we don't want to experience even when we experience hardship that can still be a medium through which we experience our truest self which will help us grow and learn more about ourselves so we can become better and provide more value to other people some of the most challenging times for people have caused them to learn something about themselves that maybe they wouldn't have been able to learn if that event didn't happen, which caused them to grow and become better as individuals. A quote in A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, which I've spoken about on here before, is, joy doesn't come from what you do. It flows into what you do from within you. That's why when people talk about entering flow state in work, for example, they're just so immersed within the present moment that they're just a vessel for ideas and inspiration and creativity to flow out of them into the work that they're doing. When we are filled with mind chatter, random thoughts, 
thoughts that don't serve us when we're thinking about the future and we develop anxiety around what could be when we think about the past and things that we said things that we did that we regret when our mind is just labeling everything in our environment when we identify our self-worth to the things in our environment and then our mind goes in overdrive and we're just thinking non-stop that isn't productive and like i said i truly believe that is such a limiting thing that so many people go through. When you allow yourself to take a step back and just observe and just be. As Eckhart Tolle says, the joy of being, when you just are aware of your innate aliveness and presence that is within all of us constantly. And you just notice like the backdrop of who you are, which is constant. And you just connect with that everything seems to change like you just are aware of things that you were never aware of before you notice the the innate beauty in your surroundings in your environment things that you've never even seen or or it would just you maybe you saw it but you just see it in a different way the work that you do or the things that you're passionate about have just completely new meaning you feel more purpose because your true purpose is connecting with that state, that innate awareness that you are full and whole and complete now. But again, that only comes from being in the now and appreciating the now and spending more time and spending more of your energy, directing more of your energy into the only moment that we experience, which is the present moment. Like I'm curious to know what the answer to this question would be for the people listening. But ask yourself this question genuinely and answer truthfully. How much of your time and energy is spent living in the now? As you go about the day, are you connected with the backdrop, as I like to say? Like that ever-present, connected feeling when you're connected to presence. Like your mind isn't all over the place you aren't thinking constantly you aren't labeling everything in your environment like how frequently do you spend time just being in the now and that doesn't mean in meditation that doesn't mean you aren't doing anything and you're just still you could be doing everything that you're normally doing or everything that you would normally do throughout your day and just do it from a present state of being from a from operating from presence essentially You could be interacting with people, you could be engaging in work, you could be working out, you could be doing whatever, you could be giving a speech, you could be doing whatever, and do it through presence. And that feeling that you get when you do that, and again, it's hard, like nobody's perfect, I fall out of that state all the time. But when you connect with it, you know how that feels. You're just calm, you're not reactive, you just respond differently, the way that you talk, the way that you articulate is more crisp, it's more pure. You feel this light energy around you. You you feel inspiration. You feel like your focus. It's it's hard to even describe it in words, but it's a great feeling. You feel like things are going your way. Maybe you see signs, you see synchronicities, you look down at the clock, it's 11, 11, like things are just going right. It's because you're operating from like who you really are, which is pure and it's amazing when you think about it and that's it happens through presence it happens through just being in a present state of awareness most people don't really access this state or they don't know what this state is like because they're constantly thinking non-stop constant mind chatter and then not only that but they identify so deeply with their thoughts they identify so deeply to what is going on in their environment somebody calls them a bad name and all of a sudden they associate their entire self-worth to what somebody else said you know what i mean like that kind of stuff like most people don't know what it's like to operate from presence because they are just so deeply ingrained and identified to ego which is identification with form thought form form in, in your environment so the purpose of this recording is kind of just to serve as a reminder to be 
more present and to genuinely ask yourself, how much time are you spending in the now? And it's okay to slip slip from time to time and, you know, this happens to everyone and just, you know, really just ingrain yourself in what you're doing and not take time to take a deep breath and just be present. But as you're going throughout the day, ask yourself, am I really in the moment right now? Or am I just too identified with what's going on around me? And if you are, that's okay. Happens to everybody. Take a deep breath and just say to yourself, like, be here now or remind yourself of who you are. And maybe have some sort of technique where you're seeing yourself from the third person or something to just put you back in the moment. Sometimes it, everyone's different, right? So sometimes I take a deep breath. Sometimes I say, be here now. It really depends. Have a technique. Maybe have reminders that go off on your phone. Be here now or get present or something like that, where you could just really just invest your energy and direct your energy into this moment, the only moment that we experience. And sometimes you can get like angry. Like I've been upset with myself when I'm not present because I know I'm too invested in what's going on around me or I feel too identified with things that go on around me and then I get upset by it but that just makes everything worse like you cannot be separate from what is constant if that makes sense like the present moment is always what is available to us and we can always connect back with the backdrop just by taking a deep breath like you don't have to be afraid that you're going to lose being in the moment and miss something like you're, it's always available to you. So you can just remind yourself of that. Be here now, be present. And I guarantee you that once you start doing this and you implement some sort of presence practice where you're just more present consistently throughout the day, you're gonna feel that energy. You're gonna feel more alive. You're gonna notice signs. You're gonna feel more inspired. You're gonna be more passionate about the things that you're doing. You're gonna be a vessel and people are gonna see that. People are just gonna notice you act differently in a good way. You're more yourself because you're more connected to what is innately within you. The joy, the joy of being, it's a beautiful thing. You become a magnet. Good things are gonna start to happen. You're gonna notice like, just like random things that are positive flow into your life because you're just a light. So again, how frequently are you connected with the now? And once you start making the now a priority, the, present moment a priority things are going to open up for you things are going to change in a very positive way and i can confidently say that so see what happens when you start making presence a priority and you start practicing presence consistently and again this is something that i go through all the time like sometimes i slip up and i'm so identified with what i'm doing and then i take a step back and i you know recenter and then things start to open up again for me but it's all a learning process so again the purpose of this recording is just to kind of serve as a reminder. Ask yourself, am I really in the moment? Am I spending time directing my energy into the now as I go about the day? And if you aren't, try it out. Take a few deep breaths, maybe have some sort of meditation practice where you're more present and then see what happens. And if you notice that you are present throughout the day, stay consistent with it. And I guarantee you, you're gonna notice like I said, things are gonna start to happen in a positive way. I truly believe that. And you can ask yourself this question as well. Can you stop the stream of thinking, even for a moment, and just focus on being? That underlying awareness when thinking stops. And can you enjoy being in that gap of no thing, of just being, and you'll notice that that gap gets larger the more energy and attention you put on it. And that gap is just presence. So hopefully you gain some value from this recording. I appreciate everyone within the presence of being community. You can see why I care so much about presence because it's literally changed my life in such an incredible way. And I feel like I'm more myself when I am present and more present. So if you enjoyed this recording, just shoot me a DM. My DMs are always open on Instagram at Presence of Being. And let me know what you thought about this recording or the podcast in general. And if you haven't left a review for the podcast yet, I would greatly appreciate if you could drop a review or just let me know what you think. 
And yeah, thank you for listening again, and I'll see you in the next recording.